Oh my dear viewers, Russia is so rich and powerful that it can produce the food for the whole world. And you see, we keep the traditions of our ancestors. And thank you, thank you so much, dear Western companies who have left Russia. Yeah, you give us great opportunity for tremendous industrial growth. And this is such a sweet feeling, guys, when you see that your country is prosperous and, and abundant. What do you make of that? Uh, what foreign companies are um, represented here uh, at this exhibition? You see Azerbaijan, Brazil, Iran, China, Republic of Belarus, Republic of Korea, Serbia, Turkey. Nice to see you guys. Welcome to Russia. Uh, I'm totally gobsmacked. Totally. <laughs> Welcome to Moscow guys, my name is Marina and this is my channel Made in Rusland about the life of common people in Russia under the terrible sanctions. And right now I'm going to visit a new um, exciting exhibition dedicated to the food industry in Russia. And I'm trying to be as cool as cucumber because food is my favorite topic and I invite you to join me right here, right now. Wait for a moment. Uh, the sun is shining in Moscow today after the terrible snowfall at night. But you see the pavements and the road uh, is clean uh, because our, our services did a great job. is falling asleep because of the howling wind and blizzard but today you see everything is so calm and clean and beautiful as it should be in the capital of a great country oh yeah today Moscow looks like this a lot of snow on the roofs and services try to do something with this what a heavy traffic today! Uh, it drives me mad because I'm looking forward to attending this enormous exhibition. And you see again our Moscow services are dumping snow from the roofs. It's, it's interesting for me. Of course, there are some advantages when you uh, move slowly. Uh, you can admire beautiful Moscow buildings. Uh, this food exhibition is held at uh, Moscow Exhibition Center, Expo Center, located in the very heart of our capital. And you know, guys, um, visiting of uh, food exhibitions is still my liking. Who told me that Russia is a backward country? A few hours and there are no consequences of a snowfall. Oh, finally, finally, I see the skyscrapers of Moscow Business Center, Moscow City. It means that um, I reached the point of my destination, Expo Center of Moscow. Oh my god, I love this exhibition so much. It is really funny and so many people. Is it a pavilion of lemonades, I wonder? Because there are a great deal of pavilions with a lot of food and beverages and everything. And I don't know what to start with. Oh my god, the lights are flashing everywhere, but I hope it doesn't annoy you really oh. I had to go count food it's 
food producers meet here and um, establish contacts. It's like a business exhibition. Just have a look. Frozen food looks great. Real. Mm -hmm. And you can even uh, um, degustate some food. I'm really so happy guys that after two years of sanctions my Russia is thriving. Just have a look. A great deal of new producers. Successful producers. So many new trademarks. Mm. I've never met such a trademark of sources. And all the stands are so eye-catching. Manufacturers of different Russian regions are represented uh, at this exhibition. I see, for example, Kaliningrad, um, the western part, the most western part of Russia. It's only one small, small part. Sauces, uh, drinks and uh, canned food pavilion. And so many businessmen are really interested in developing uh, Russian production. <laughs> Sunflower oil. These guys are from Don River. It's time to try something. Of course, you can put the bread into oil. But I don't see oil. But, my dear viewers, I see pelmeni from Udmurtia. Udmurtia is a wonderful a little bit exotic region of Russia and uh, this wonderful lady promised to cook me pelmeni with meat with the pork and beef all together you see can you see it don't be jealous please it's for me oh guys I want to tell you the truth. I was feigning uh, that I kept on diet. Of course I did, but sometimes. And now it's time to own up. I adore scrumptious food. And what about you? I'm waiting for pilmeni right now. Just 15 minutes. Only 15 minutes. Have a look at this gentleman. And one lady with the tomatoes <laughs> looks perfect they produce tomato sauces before eating pelmeni i decided to try some uh, traditional russian food it's eggplant cavia mm. Wonderful, a little bit bitter, but eggplants are, you know, a little bit bitter. Of course, I, I would like to try pickled, um, pickled cucumbers, but um, instead of pickles, I, I will try uh, green peas. I think it's good for vodka, but I don't drink vodka. Dadia Vanya, Uncle Vanya is a famous, well-known Russian trademark. They produce rather delicious things, you see? Cucumbers in Berlin style. 
for example. They're so serious. They are businessmen and businesswomen, women. <laughs> I'd like to see anything else uh, besides canned food. I think I have to change the pavilion. But I'm waiting for Pilmini. I follow this girl, I follow this girl. I know she goes right way. <laughs> All about meat, meat union. <laughs> ah, no go. I'm ready to eat. Guys, that's what I love. А что у вас к ним есть? Пили... Сметанка, нет? Нельзя, нельзя. Вкусно вы рецепторы все забьют. No, no sauces to this um, um, pelmeni. My mouth is watering. And what about you, my dear viewers? The owners of this pelmeni farm, Svetlana and Rustam, they told me a great secret. Can you guess what they add into pelmeni? Coffee. Because coffee is addictive and after eating pelmeni everybody has got the addiction mm. Mm. I am pelmeni addictive girl now give me more please this pelmeni is to die for I can eat one kilo or one and a half kilo I don't know and you see, we don't use ketchup, butter, or sour cream, just to feel a real taste. Welcome to Russia. If you want to buy this pelmeni, dumplings, yes, it looks like dumplings. You have to pay 400 rubles for one kilo. 400 rubles, it's approximately $5 for one kilo of Mm. of delicious pelmeni. I can't stop. If my country can produce such a wonderful traditional food, it means my country is prosperous. Yeah, Svetlana and Rustam has a family business. Family pelmeni business. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. We're waiting. We're waiting for your wonderful food. Yeah. You have to boil it for a uh, few minutes, five minutes, or ten minutes. Yeah. 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 Would you like to have uh, business contacts with uh, Russia? Mm -hmm. My dear friends, for example, we have Fish Salt Company. Oh, dried fish. Do you remember my videos from Astrakhan? Here is the link. This is very tasty. Bobla. Uh, I'm so sorry, it's a pity this all is not for sale, you see? We don't sell it. It's just the examples. For making contacts, business contacts. <laughs> okay, uh, will you guess what are these serious men and women are doing right now? They're making contracts about De delivery of this berry and a sugar cranberry oh and have a look what i have it's a present from this company cranberry in a, in a sugar thank you so much 
А, Нижний Новгород. А, Новгород, Новгород регион. И uh, do you remember Alex, my friend? We are together with him. We are exploring uh, the world of food in Russia. Oh, it's getting dark and we decided to change the pavilion uh, because, uh, as I mentioned before, there are 10 or 12 or 15 pavilions with uh, food producers. Uh, truth be told, I adore Moscow City. And the pavilion number 8. Oh, what surprises are there inside? And again, so many people making business decisions and contacts. I'm looking for something extraordinary. Uh, pasta. Something um, I don't know what. Ah. <laughs> Cauliflower, frozen food. Uh, what about dry bread? Alex, will we try some bread? Mm, then traditional, yeah. Mm, good taste. I'd like big grenka. We call it grenke. I know what about the Russian folk song. I told you I adore exhibitions. What can we try here? Mm -hmm. Sauces, mayonnaise. Pasta. For sure, one day is not enough to travel from one pavilion to another. <laughs> oh my God, where to go? Yeah, I see Alex and uh, uh, a pavilion about about everything. I see that we still have very good connection with um, European producers, for example, of cognac. And wines. It's not my topic, you know that um, I don't drink alcohol. And maybe it's gripping for you. Oh yes, what I see. Have a look. This is a legend, real legend among meat producers. So, so attractive for me. And for you, my dear friends, would you like to try this, yeah, this uh, meat or this uh, sausage? Heaven, I'm in heaven. Do you remember this song? It's about me. <sighs> really, it's endless. Why? Why did I spend a lot of time in previous pavilion with canned food? This is my place. And this is my food. Oh guys, I'm I'm very lucky because I have one more present from this wonderful girl and this uh, wonderful ah, sorry, sorry flashes. Uh, light is flashing. So this is what? А это что? Moscow Moscow sausage. Yes? Moscow's yes. Да? 
Thank you so much. Thank you. It's mine now. Yeah. Don't be envy. Oh, what I see. The production of waterfowl is very difficult and expensive. And uh, this company uh, produced duck, elite duck, uh, in Novosibirsk, in my native land. Mm, did you see my videos about Novosibirsk? Here is the link. Truth be told, my dear viewers, guys, I can spend here days and nights exploring all these new products and new tastes. Would you like to join me? <laughs> but now I think it's time to uh, to finish my video because it's too long already. <laughs> and uh, the exhibition is going to be closed till tomorrow morning. I'm thinking about visiting this exhibition tomorrow again. Probably. Because it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, really. Two years under awful sanctions. And we, we are still live our wonderful life better than we lived before. Really endless rows. It's so pleasant to to feel this this rhythm. Business rhythm. And to see this wonderful young and not so young men and women doing something incredible yeah that's all for today I want to tell you a secret together with my friend Alex we decided to start a new channel a new channel about a Russian industry about producing different um, wonderful things about life, about food um, I think it's gonna be gripping uh, and so cozy places are here oh. but I like to sit in a chair with a glass of Crimean wine uh, near the fire What do you make of that idea? Is it interesting for you? To know Russian life deeper? Hmm, that's like a bar. I love my country. All seasons. Now it's winter. Not so many people like snow and cold. But when your heart is warm, cold outside doesn't matter. Where am I? Among, among the bottles. <laughs> I see my colleagues, bloggers. Where, where is she from, I wonder? <laughs> yeah, this vlogger is from South Korea. Nice to see you. Very <laughs> приятно. Um, have a good day. My channel is made in Russland. Yeah, write me, please. Yeah? And I will show you in my video next week. Ah, mm, you you take part in the exhibition here. Ah, really? Oh, nice to nice to meet you. Bye bye. What's your name? 
My name is Marina. Marina. Okay. Очень приятно. Luxury life with luxury wines <laughs> and luxury cognacs. I love all people with open hearts and minds. It's great to meet new people from all over the world in our beloved Russia. Guys, I, I can't stop filming. I'd like to, but I can't because I see a lot of beautiful, amazing people and um, extraordinary stands at this exhibition. Uh, <laughs> it's so easy peasy to be lost here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm dreaming about drinking coffee. I'm waiting for your comments. You know that I still try to answer everyone. You may be sure that I read all comments and try to react to all the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for your donations. You help me a lot. All I do, I do for you. And here is the links to my wonderful videos about Crimea, our Russian Crimea. <laughs>